Hello everyone, my name is Elle. Welcome. Today I just wanted to have a quick little chat with you guys about the state of my makeup collection and some general thoughts on PR and stuff like that. Just a little quick makeup chat. So I've definitely gone off the deep end when it comes to accumulating makeup. I have way too much of it. I was in a good place somewhat last year. I was getting better and I let it get out of control because I kept saying like, oh, just just a little bit won't hurt. Oh, just a few things won't hurt. Oh, I need to try this. Oh, I need to try that. I was being influenced by a lot of different people, not trying to put the blame on anybody but myself, but I was letting it happen. I was listening to people who were saying, but you need this. And I'd say, yes, okay. Someone would say, have you tried this? No, I hadn't, but hey, now I should. I'll order this, I'll order that. I was being influenced by a lot of people. And I kept thinking to myself, hey, it's okay if I buy not just this one thing, but or not two, three, or four things. Let's go to the drugstore and buy like 15 products all at one time. I was using every single excuse I could come up with, every kind of justification I could make, whether I had a bad day or a good day, whether, whether I was celebrating something or whether I was upset about something else. My father was sick, let's go to the drugstore and buy makeup. Somebody was mean to me on the internet, let's place an order at Sephora. Like it was just going back and forth and it never ended up making me feel that good because I often would have way too much all at one time. This is the first time now since the beginning of the year that I'm not waiting on an order, that I haven't placed any order, that I'm not expecting anything to be sent to me and it feels good. But there's that part of me still that's like, you know, looking forward to something in the mail, looking forward to new things, but then I was never getting to use things properly. I've had so many people want to see reviews and I just don't feel comfortable doing them unless I've used the product well enough. And I was always jumping around between things. I was never sticking to things. I definitely cut back on my project panning, thinking like, oh no, I'm in a good spot right now. I don't need to project pan as much. And then I like take a look at my vanity and the stuff that's accumulated all around me. And I'm like, Okay, um, time to address this. Time, time, time to rein it in. It's not okay to feel like this about makeup. It should be fun and I shouldn't feel overwhelmed looking at it because I purchased too much or because I accepted too much stuff. Um, I've accepted some gifts from people. It's really hard for me to say yes to gifts. I'm very grateful for the stuff that I have gotten from people. Um, it usually takes a lot of arm twisting <laughs> for me to say yes to something like that because it does generally make me feel uncomfortable because I'm like, hey, I'm just a person who's talking about makeup on the internet. I don't deserve stuff to be sent to me. I really don't believe that I do and accepting PR has been um, a little bit of a struggle for me too although at first it's kind of like this really cool thing where you're like yes I am important yes they want to send me stuff and then it's too much because too much at one time and so I've started saying no to things um, I've started to just kind of be a bad person and really ignore a lot of my emails. Um, I know I shouldn't. I know it's a good business practice or whatever to respond to everything, but I, I'm a person who can say no once, but not no a second time. So if I respond to a company and I'm like, no, thank you, I'm not interested, you know, but thank you for offering it to me. And then they come back to me with, but blah, blah, blah. I always feel like then I have to say yes. And it's just their tactics. I just can't say, I just can't say no easily. It's hard for me to say no at all. So I've just kind of been ignoring things. There's been some makeup companies and stuff who wanted to send me like crazy amount of makeup and people who wanted to pay me for reviews. No, I I'm not about that. And I don't want to be about that. I am not accepting affiliate codes. I'm not accepting any of that stuff. Like I've been really upfront with any of the brands that I have accepted product from saying I'm not being part of an affiliate team. I do not want a specific code with my name on it. I do not want to see any kind of kickback to me. Just if there's a general code that people can get a discount from, if I like the product enough to recommend it, then I'll share that code. And that's where it's gonna end for me. Um, it's been it's been difficult because it, I definitely feel like I've put in a lot of work and then people will say like, but you've worked so hard, you deserve PR. And I'm like, well, maybe if it was like no strings attached, but even then, even then it's so much pressure to feel like you have to say nice things, to, feel like you have to stay on a PR list to keep getting stuff and to me it's not worth it. You know, um, I have too much stuff. I have so much stuff that I've purchased my own, on my own right, stuff that I've been gifted from friends and from family. I don't need to accept any more stuff. 
You know, I want to use what I have. I want to be able to review the products that I have thoroughly and be able to give really good recommendations to people and instead of dealing with all the other mess, if you know what I mean. I just, my priorities have definitely changed. There was certainly a point when I was doing YouTube where, like, you know, I wanted to, to have all that stuff given to me and a part of me who thought that like if I put in all kinds of work then I deserve to have the product, which isn't true, and I just can't manage it properly anyway. I just don't have enough time in a day to go through everything that I want to if I keep getting stuff. It has to stop somewhere. So for now, I'm stopping. I'm just trying to use what I have and I have to make a game plan. And that's what I've been going through in my head recently, trying to figure out what's the best strategy moving forward. Because I definitely want to finish products. I don't just want to do a mass declutter. I don't like decluttering for the sake of decluttering because I feel like it's so wasteful. If I purchase the stuff, even if I was given the stuff, if it's still a good product, then why would I just get rid of it? And I don't have people I can pass stuff off to. I've said this over and over again, and that's one thing I like reason why I hate talking about decluttering, because I feel like there's so much justification you have to make when you do like an on-camera decluttering or talk about decluttering. Um, because every time people say like give it away to somebody, I don't have people to give it away to. I'm not giving it away to strangers on the internet because I do not feel comfortable doing that. Um, I've said that a few times, like this is all product that I've used, not unopened product. I can't donate that stuff. There's like one woman's shelter around me and they do not accept things that are opened. That's it. So my options are toss it in the garbage or keep it. And so that's where part of my hesitation comes from. Because yes, it might ultimately end up in the garbage anyway. It's really not gonna matter much if it's in the trash as opposed to my collection. It still makes me hesitate a little bit there. So I, I know it's, there's gonna be somebody who's gonna fight me on this, but that's, that's where my options lie right now. So that's why I don't like decluttering for the sake of decluttering. I like to declutter stuff that's either gone bad or doesn't serve a purpose for me anymore. Maybe something that's broken in some way or just something that I've used to a point that I know I don't want to finish it anymore and I know why. Because that's the thing that helped me a lot with project panning and with smart decluttering and makeup baskets was learning about different product types and why I like them. Although I just kind of let stuff kind of get out of control over the last couple of months because I thought that maybe I would turn into something that I'm not. I'm not a tutorial channel. I'm not a review channel. I don't, I don't really know what I am. I just talk about what I want to talk about when it comes to makeup and I have fun doing it. And I don't really want to be put in a little box anyway. And while there's other stuff I want to do like tutorials and I want to do more reviews because I hope to be a voice that maybe can help people and give some more information and a different perspective on product usage because there's definitely reviews that I see or read about products that I have a opposing opinion on so sometimes it's good to have that other voice in there if anybody even cares but you know that's why I wanted to do that stuff but then there's part of me that like feels like I have to buy everything to and think that I'm going to use it or review it when I just I'm not that's not who I am and that's not who I have been and that was the same thing that I fell in last year which I talked about in my um, makeup addiction social media addiction video where it's like I fell into that trap thinking that I was going to impress people or impress brands I was just trying so so hard to get brands to to notice me for the sake of them acknowledging me and not for any other reason just because it felt like some sort of badge of honor like hey I was noticed by this brand when it really means nothing because the only reason why they would acknowledge me is if they thought they could get something out of it anyway and I just don't want to be a pawn in that game I just want to keep doing my own thing I have more than enough makeup to talk about I have more than enough opinions to share so I feel like I can slow slow everything down a little bit I want to start doing makeup baskets again like I did last year um, I won't be doing like the shop my stash kind of style like I see other people doing where they're like actually taking you through the collection just because my collection is not set up that way. It would not be visually appealing. So I'll just share my makeup basket when I start doing that again, just so I can figure out how I can declutter smarter, better. And so I can have a somewhat more manageable collection because I definitely don't want to do a major, major purge. I like having a lot of variety, but there is some stuff overlapping. So I just want to have a little bit less.
Anyway, uh, that is all I really wanted to say for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you have any suggestions for me or things that you would like to see in terms of using up makeup or doing some kind of declutter. I will probably just do general declutters if I do my makeup baskets like I did before. So when I would talk about the products, I would explain what I was getting rid of, if anything, and why, instead of just doing um, step-by-step -step declutters. I just can't seem to get them to, to film right. If you watched my eyeliner declutter from a few weeks ago, blurry footage and stuff, I just can't set it up so that it looks right and that it, it just doesn't feel worthwhile to me. And I feel like there's a lot of justification, like I said at the very beginning, when it comes to decluttering on camera, like for why you keep something and you might keep stuff that you don't want to keep because you feel like you have to and you might get rid of stuff because you feel like you have to so I don't know I just I'd be interested to hear from you guys that's also partially why I did this video though because I wanted to hear from you guys what you thought about going forward what you would really like to see um I might do like a collective haul if people are interested stuff that I was um given stuff from PR stuff that I purchased I, it might have to be a little selective otherwise the haul would probably be like an hour long because I haven't really shared any of that stuff in months and you know I accumulated a fair amount of stuff in like four and a half months so uh anyway that really is all for me thank you once again and I hope we get a chance to chat soon bye for now